MIHE TV here with the legendary Keith Shockley of the Bomb Squad. Keith, what is going on? Chilling, man, here at the Newmark uh, NS6 uh, controller turntable release party. Yes, sir. Just hanging here at my man Merlin Bob Club, Juliet. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, you know, he's doing some big things, man. <laughs> All right. All right. Now you just did a ridiculous setup in there. I gotta give you props for that. That's what's up. You were showing what DJs do, you know, and that's necessary. So, um, please, man, keep your talk about being a DJ and making the transition to production. Um, well, it, it, it for me it started out as a DJ. Um. I, I started way back. Listen, I let you know the I let you know the age bracket. I started out when there was no pitch control, so <laughs> so you had to like spot cue. We call it slip cueing. You had to slip cue. But from that, as as years went on, and the evolution of the MC came about, we was playing more break beats. So that transcended us from the DJ side straight into production because what happened was. They want, you know, we had a small record deal with an independent label. They wanted Chuck, which was Chuck E. D. at the time, to do the joint, and we were Spectrum City. And we did, we, we just decided to do our own tracks because while we was DJing, we used to rock live drum machines and bass lines. So this was like back in the early 80s. Right. So when Flash had the Flash, you know, Flash form, you know, um, Flash was on the beatbox. We had the beatbox and bass line, okay. which, is, which was the legendary, on the bass line, the legendary Roland TB303, which is heavily sampling all the electronic music going on today. Yes, and, and, the, and the Bomb Squad sound was you, very unique. Like, nobody has duplicated since it that came out, you know? Uh, that was, yeah, it hasn't been, been, it's been tried, but you never yeah, can. Many attempts have been made, but, you know, yeah, it, it, hasn't been accomplished. No, nah, it, it's not So, it. um, tell young producers, if you got any pointers for them, man, give the, give a little pointers to the young producers coming up. I always try to tell them, learn the history. It's always great to learn the history because it, that's where it comes from. You know, we were fans of music before, you know, before anything. As DJs, we 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 wasn't just street DJs. We would do bar mitzvahs, weddings, sweet sixteens. So there's a there's a drastic change of music from that then DJing in a park where you had to rock the shit. You know, so that history gave me gave us a sense of our musical production from th from then till now. Um, we were just very good historians of music. We knew classical, jazz, blues, as well as your regular R&B, pop, rock, acid rock, heavy metal, all that. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. And finally, man, yo, tell the watchers why they should be watching M-I-H-E TV. The reason why you should be watching M-I-H TV because they do a lot of independent artists. I'm a firm believer and pusher of independent artists that's what it's about and that's what's up brother thank you very much and my AGTV y'all peace stay locked